we gather here today to rejoice in the creation of the world. God in his infinite compassion has lovingly formed our planet and all that live within it. He declared his creation good and entrusted us to, to care for it along with each other. Sometimes in our everyday lives, we forget our responsibility to care for nature. Today, as we reflect on the marvels and wonders of creation, let us renew our commitment as good stewards of the earth. Let us begin our service by signing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth, and God saw that it was good. God separated the light from the darkness and called the light day and the dark night. On the second day, God created a dome in the middle of the waters. God said, let the dome be separated from the waters. And it was so, and God saw that it was good. He called the dome sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered into one place and let the dry land disappear. And it was so, and God saw that it was good. He called the dry land earth and the water sea and oceans. On the fourth day, God said, let there be lights in the sky in the day and in the night. And it was so, and God saw that it was good. He called the light in the day sun and the lights in the night stars. On the fifth day, God said, let there be living things and living creatures in the waters and in the skies. And it was so, God saw that it was good. He called the living things and creatures in the waters fish, seaweed, and underwater plants, and the creatures in the sky birds. On the sixth day, God said, let there be living things and living creatures on the surface of the earth. And it was so, and God saw that it was good. He called the creatures cattle, lions, squirrels, and deer, and the other animals of the earth, and called other, the other living things flowers and trees. And God said, let there be human beings made in my image. Let these humans rule over all the other animals and living creatures on the earth. Let them use plants and seedlings for food and to make shelter and tools. Let them make the land and seas of earth as their home. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. He breathed life into the humans and blessed them, making male and female. He called the humans man and woman. Then God looked at all he made the day, the night, the sky, the land, and the seas, the sun, and the stars, the living creatures in the ocean, the skies, and the earth, and the humans in God's own image, and saw that it was very good. take care of. Let us remember how essential water is to all life on our planet. Let us strive to always use it wisely and to keep it clean of pollutants. 
We offer this port of soil to remind us of all the minerals and unseen resources it harbors within. Sometimes we forget that the earth we walk on is another source of life. From it, plants, trees, and all living creatures are nourished. We harvest this minerals and rocks to build our home and cities. Let us remember to care for our earth and harvest its resources in moderation. As we offer up these seeds, we are reminded of the potential they possess. Seeds, if cared for lovingly and properly, grow mature and bear fruit. Like the seed, we too need to be loved and nurtured by those around us in order to grow to our full potential as disciples of Christ. When we look at these seeds, let us remember not only our potential, but that we need to love others as well. In the scripture reading, we hear how God appointed us to take care of the earth and rule over the plants and animals. We realize that we are integrally connected to all living things through the food chain and the elements of the earth. As we offer up this plant and animal, let us remember to make wise decisions and treat all living creatures with kindness. We offer this cross to remind us of the profound love of God. Through his compassion, he gave us life and made our beautiful world. Let us remember to give thanks to him and praise him for his wondrous creation. This verse is, may we live in harmony with the earth. May we live in harmony with the earth. May we use the world's resources we need with love, humility, and thoughtfulness, without guilt, without fear, without waste. May we live in harmony with the earth. May we live together with animals with which we share this planet, being careful not to harm their, them or their habitats. May we, um, may we live with, um, may we live in harmony with the earth. May we respect the life in our lakes, rivers, and oceans, using them with care and being mindful in our efforts not to pollute them. May we live in harmony with the earth. May we learn to live within our means by reducing our waste and continuing to reuse and recycle all that we can. May we live in harmony with the earth. May we plan to leave the world in a state that all future generations will be able to enjoy, ensuring that it is filled with resources, life, and kept healthy and clean. May we live the harmony with the earth. Today, we gather to celebrate Earth Day. We are also here to dedicate a tree that we will be planting in this area in memory of Sister Joan O'Sullivan, who entered the gates of heaven on the day before Easter. Sister Joan was a presentation sister for 56 years. She committed her life to following Nano Nagel. And while we didn't plan it, today is actually the anniversary of the death of Nano Nagel, April 26th. She spent a few years here at St. Joseph's School teaching eighth grade and returned to visit many times over the years. The time spent here was only a small part of her life as a follower of Nan O'Nagel. Sister Joan was born in Ireland. She heard God's call to become a presentation sister, and after she graduated from high school, she entered the order. Sister Joan spent many years teaching in both Ireland and California. And then she became a counselor and later was a principal. She became a leader of the Presentation Sisters and traveled all over the world. Sister Joan, like Nano Nagel, knew that it was very important to prepare for continuing the work of the Presentation Sisters far into the future. She was devoted to promoting the growth of Friends of Nano groups all over the world. And you've heard that name, Friends of Nano. We are all Friends of Nano here at St. Joseph's School. And I know that Sister Joan was so excited to know 
that we would be a part of continuing Nanonagel's work for many years to come. The presentation sisters are deeply committed to protecting the earth, God's creation. All around the world, they are helping communities grow food, educate children, and do works of justice. When asked what the best part of being a presentation sister, Sister Joan responded that we are an international, intercultural, intergenerational congregation. We walk in the footsteps of Nano Nagel, our foundress, whose desire was to be of service anywhere in the world. We are one earth family and we are growing in awareness of the union. So today in honor of Earth Day and to honor Sister Joan, we're going to plant a tree and the tree is going to be planted right here. Student Council is going to help um, place the tree in the ground in just a moment. But I know a lot of us play in this area. And one thing that we noticed is that we don't have a lot of shade and trees give us the gift of shade. They give us the gift of fresh air and that's what God intended in his creation of trees. And so to honor the presentation sisters and Sister Joan who love to care for the environment, we plant this tree in Sister Joan's memory.